Hello Sagittarius, it's Erica here to do your love reading for the second half of March 2020 and you're not going to believe this but I just recorded the most powerful message for you and my iPad ran out of storage space. So rather than redo the whole reading, what I'm going to do is just kind of take you through what came through for you because it was, ugh, it just kills me that this video didn't come through. Um at all because it was so strong so hopefully I can do it justice this second time around but um, so I pulled the cards live on camera obviously not that you're seeing it but um, I'm just gonna take a look here at what's going on Sag with you and your person now um, we have a lot happening right now in the cosmos in the second half of March. We have the full moon, in, sorry, the new moon in Aries on the 24th. We have the sun going into Aries. We have the, sprint, the equinox on the 21st. And we have Saturn, the planet of karma, going into Aquarius, a new sign. And those are all highly significant events that are going to impact what this reading is sharing. So I've done videos on all of them, and I will link them at the end of this video to make it easy for you to find, but I highly recommend watching them to get more context in why, how those energies are influencing this scenario. So with that guys, this is Sagittarius. And again, oh, I hate having to do it this way, but it's okay. Well, um, it's whatever it's going to come through will, but, um, so here we are Sagittarius and I kept these cards here just because I don't want them to be too distracting, but we've got your energy here. We've got your person's energy here. This is the dynamic between you guys. This is the recent past. Here's the current energy, and here's what's coming in. And um, Or you can switch them around. Obviously, this is a general reading, and if it doesn't fit, guys, don't make it fit. So what we have here is um, we have a situation where it feels like there has been some sort of um, tower moment where maybe there's been a completion of of a significant relationship where this person here may have just been very guarded and very um, combative and maybe even a little defensive. Uh, maybe there were some challenges in a relationship before or something that needed to be communicated or fixed. And this person here wasn't doing that. This person was just kind of guarding themselves. They were holding themselves back. They weren't being very courageous. Look at this bear is not being very courageous. This bear is like letting this woman sit on top of him. <laughs> and like, you know, he's, uh, he's not looking very courageous right now. She's the one being courageous, which feels like your energy here. But anyway, I digress. What I thought was really interesting quickly also is we have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck and this is what's coming in is the Queen of Wands in between you. So we have a very significant partnership here, soulmate partnership, spiritual partnership. And then we do have the Emperor and the Empress in the same row here in the present energy. So this is a very significant partnership. This could be Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Um, this could be Sacred Union, something that has maybe been through a rough time here in the past, whether it's recent past or long ago, there was some sort of a, a breakdown here or breakup even um, that led to maybe either communication or cutting this out because this, like, it's almost like this person couldn't reach this person. It's like this person may have been trying and trying and trying. This person might have just been like, nope, digging in their heels. I'm fine. I don't want to work, whatever. And this, and then just kind of something may have ended. But what's coming in here, because we have the Tower, the Strength, the Queen of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands here. What's in the present energy, we have the Four of Wands for you and the Emperor for them. So this person is now taking charge. They're ready to take the lead. They're ready to do whatever they have to do because they don't want to give up here. They don't want to give up. They want to keep going. They don't want to lose whatever you guys have built. And you have the Empress here, which certainly is that very nurturing energy, but also is the rebirth and the, the, the new thing being born again, because we do have the Four of Wands here. Here is that celebration, that stability, that manifestation. So it's almost like it may have taken something to like a tower moment of some kind at some point in the past to bring about this opportunity for stability because the page of wheels page of pentacles this is all about doing something differently let's tr let's do it differently let's approach this differently let's 
you know, we know we both know we need to learn and we both need to work. So let's do this together because there's also the six of pentacles, which is reciprocity here now. So this person was guarded before and now there's some reciprocity. Someone's ready to give. It's equal give and take. So it is, it's almost like maybe you were pleading to this person or trying to like make it better and they just were like, hey, look, we need to go to counseling, we need to whatever. And this person's like, no, no, no. And even if you weren't talking about going counseling, this to me is where there was something that was not working out that just was why it, something had to close out. Maybe you were out of touch for a while, who knows. But um, we do have this person finally stepping into the leadership role and doing something instead of just being defensive and guarded. And what we have coming in here is you're both going into the twos. You're going into the two of wands. They're going into the two of wheels. So it's like you're both a little bit uncertain about where things are going to go, trying to decide, trying to figure it out. But in the middle, we have the queen of wands. This is that energy of confidence. You know, for you, your two of wands energy is you're really unsure how to go, but it looks like you're going to choose to move forward slowly steadily not rush anything it does look like you're looking towards the future you're going to choose not to butt heads here look at these two rams butting heads you could be dealing with an aries sagittarius only because we have the ram here and we have the emperor which is the, the card of aries so just a small little side note i don't often talk about the signs that are coming through but uh, once in a while so it does look like you're looking towards the future here. And this Queen of Wands got the Six of Cups. There's this reconciliation, this reunion energy coming back together, getting back to what really matters is that energy of love, being confident that you can come together because this person has the Two of Wheels because what they're trying to do is they're actually making tangible changes that are aligned spiritually for them. This is where, you know, as above, so below is he's holding a pentacle up and then he's, he's balancing on a pentacle. So he's, he's bridging the spiritual truth and making it tangible with the earth. So this is taking that spiritual knowledge and like learning the lessons. But this person here too, they very much want this victory, but it's like, to me, this is where they might not be revealing to you as much what they're learning spiritually through this process. They may not reveal everything quite yet, but they're very much relying on their intuition more than they have before. And they're, they're, there's that connection with the spirit that is allowing them to have this new start. Now, I pulled more cards after this to take a look. So we have, you are good enough recent past the current energy is the communication is key and then the first card i pulled here was a time for healing on top of this queen of wands and the six of cups so in the past there were things that were unbalanced unworthiness maybe some codependency here with this ten of swords maybe somebody putting up with less than they deserved and finally they put their foot down maybe you put your foot down sagittarius and this person finally woke up and said whoa because realistically, guys, you teach people how to treat you in a lot of ways. And um, not that it's all on your responsibility whatsoever. But when we're talking, for example, about divine masculine and divine feminine energy, until the masculine is, is called to the mat to do better, He's just going to do what he's done on his whole life because he's not, there's no motivation to shift and to change. But when there's enough at stake, and if there's a family involved here, this might be enough motivation to get him to up his game, to be better than he's been. Most people are not living to their fullest potential. They're not pushed to, you know, they're operating at like ho-hum capacity. So whatever's happened has, has led this to um, this person here to really step into more of who they are. And this is about communicating. This is you're closing out a cycle with this full moon energy that's been difficult. That's been based in not being good enough or not having enough or not having reciprocity and somebody not getting their knees met. And then there is a new cycle of communication opening up in the present.
something new beginning. And then we have a time for healing. Um, and then I pulled some more cards here too on the dynamic between you guys is we're getting the energy is gaining momentum and confidence is your key to success. So here is the queen of wands, which is all about confidence. Here's an, again, another new moon energy, new start, moving forward with confidence that th this can be healed, that this can be, um, there will be ongoing improvements. The energy is gaining momentum. So it's like you could start a new cycle here of truly working together. And your energy here is you're getting take time to breathe out and surrender to the divine. Okay, so this is where you have trusted spirit, trusted the divine, trusted that it's up to them. And you don't know what's going to happen. But this is about make, taking a pause, taking like a sigh of relief. Okay, take time to breathe out. Slow and steady progress. Choose not to fight this. See what goes. Look towards the future. Be confident. You can heal this. And this person over here gets prosperity lies ahead and your hard work is paying off. Two earth signs, all both new moons. And again, two earth pentacles here and new beginnings. So this person is very much ready to put the work in. Now, so no matter where it's been in the past, this person's ready to take to uh, put the work in. So with that, guys, um, I also pulled the final guidance card. And this is the card that came out, the let your friends help you card. So this is where at this time, it's really important that both of you really lean on others for support. People that have gone through difficult times in their relationships and moved through it. This could be getting counseling. This could be, you know, opening up to other friends that are going to, that are going to let you see your own crap too. You know, not the friends that are yes people and just tell you how great you are all the time. You're going to need the, this is about your friends really looking at you and going, you know what? I didn't really like it when you did that. I didn't think that was fair. Or, Hey, have you thought about looking at it like this? Hey, wh why are you doing that? Is that worth it? Like the people that are going to be, that love you enough to be honest with you and tell it like it is from their side um, because that's going to help you guys navigate this scenario. So with that Sagittarius, I hope that was helpful. And um, until next time, I send you so much love. Bye.